Well, here we are. We're up hunting here and uh, we haven't got a moose yet, but we're planning on getting one soon. Anyway, so what we're here to talk about today is the bear alarm system that I designed. So it's just a small metal box and uh, on the top here, this is for the trip wire. And uh, this is just a marine cutout switch for a marine motor. And uh, when the bear hits the trip wire, this trips it and pulls it out. You can test it by pushing down the button. And we've got two modes. We have siren mode, the middle is off, and the bottom, bottom one is buzzer. The buzzer we put into the tent, and uh, that's this wire here. So it's got a, little, a piezoelectric buzzer, and then the switch, we can turn that one on and off. If the bear comes at night, we have this one on. So the buzzer goes, and then we can shut the buzzer off to stop the noise in the tent, and we come out and take care of the situation. So it's a pretty simple system. This one here, the siren, it's just the loudest siren, 12 volt siren you can get. Where'd you get it? Uh, I got it from an alarm company. Good question. And then it just plugs in. These are just little tiny connectors. You get these at Canadian Tire. And it plugs, the siren plugs into the siren mode or siren, siren plug. The other one is your 12 volt. So this one just connects up to your truck battery or an ATV battery or any 12 volt battery or any 12 volt source. And again, that's your power, power side of things. And, uh, and the siren and the siren plugs into the siren mode and power into there and buzzer into here. It's got a fuse here. It's pretty simple. Cool. What did it cost roughly? It probably cost, uh, for everything less than a hundred bucks. And then I bought, uh, these little tiny pulleys. Like Princess Auto, wasn't it? Yeah, these from Princess Auto. They're just a standard little pulley. These tie to the trees and we'll show you afterwards we have it set up and then they provide very little friction and this is our line that we run from this from this point here from there and we don't we tie it onto here so we don't want all the give in here because that's no good you want it as tight as you can and then when it, the bear hits it it just pulls that off so we tie our strip or our trip wire onto here and uh, speaker wire, I guess, eh? just for your power This wire? is just uh, standard speaker wire and uh, some clips here, Canadian tire again. Yeah, it's a pretty simple system to build. And it works. And it's, it works it's amazing. It's been proven. It, it does work. We yeah. had, the, we been, had that small buzzer go off when we were in the tent sleeping and we come out and yeah, there was a barrel in the corner. Yeah. And uh, we never had the horn go off yet. It, the horn's good so that if we're coming back from a hunt and uh, say we're... I don't know, 300 yards from camp, we just stop and listen. If we hear that horn going, we know that there's something in camp and we know to get our guns ready and to walk in slowly. If we don't hear anything, it's safe to come it's in. Good. Good so to it's go. a nice warning system if you're out hunting for that uh, for this alarm yeah. here. And who knows, maybe it might scare the bear away temporarily before he gets used to the alarm and comes back. But yeah. um, It's more of a safety security thing for us in camp. Yeah. Cool. So what we're going to do is we'll install this and we'll show you as we're installing it, we'll give you some detailed steps and away you go. Yep. Okay, so now we'll just uh, show you a little bit about the installation of the system here. So we have our horn up in the tree and that's pointing towards our meat racks where we normally would hang the meat. So that's going to give the loudest effect for any any intruder that we've got. We have had lots of grizzly bear troubles. That's why our meat poles are so high. Yeah. It gives us more time to get out here because the bastard's fast. He'd come here, he'd grab a quarter, set the alarm off and be out in the bush and we'd be listening to him eat it before we could even do anything. Yeah. So this buys us some time. Higher is better. Yep. So what we have now is we've ran the line here. Again, this is just a standard 16 gauge speaker wire. Anything would work, lamp cord, whatever you want. And uh, we run that back to the truck. We camp in the same spot every year. so. Our situation's the same, so we don't have to worry about extra wire, but it's up to you and every installation's gonna require, every situation require a different length of wire for it. And what I recommend is bring the tools up with you and a good supply of speaker wire so that you can install it and then leave extra length because just like everything in life, longer is better. <laughs> and uh, then you can sort of cut it to length and you just use your crimp on, standard crimp on connectors, buy those at any Canadian tire or any, any kind of store, <coughs> hardware store will sell them. 
and then you can cut it with to length and just leave a little bit of extra. You can see we've got another about 20 feet of wire here. So here's the uh, alarm wire or siren. And here's, we've marked this with siren. You can mark that any way you want. You just plug that, those two together. The siren's connected. And we've got our uh, one from the tent. This is our tent system. And this is the little buzzer. So it connects up to the, the buzzer connector. Plug that in. And then the last is power. And uh, plug this in right now. And in this case, we're just running it off the truck battery. And again, we have extra length if we decide to move it or whatever. And uh, it's just uh, negative to negative, positive to positive, and do it so you can close your hood. I'd recommend leaving a little bit of wire just inside your engine compartment. And it won't kill your battery. And this doesn't kill your battery. This is a Dodge, so it can handle it anyway, but most, <laughs> most other vehicles will be able to handle that current load. It's not a lot. Okay, now we've got it plugged in and we can actually test it. Here in the middle. Oh, there we go. So you took, put it in the siren mode and you push this button down. That does a test there. And then on, if you put it on the buzzer mode and do a test, you'll hear it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's that's I'll, in the I'll tent. Go to the tent. Okay, you press it. Okay, so this goes off at night. I flip this switch and it's off. And then I'll grab my rifle and go take care of that bear. So I'll leave it in the alarm, test it again. We're good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the installation of the trip wire line. <coughs> and that's a little bit, there's a couple little tricks to it, but uh, we'll explain that as we go. And uh, once we're done, we'll show you the system in operation. Stay tuned. So we've already strung up the brass pulleys in the tree and I'll just show you how we, how we do that. We just take a piece of uh, string and we just fold it over and put a loop in it, just like that. And then it's just a simple matter now of just slipping your pulley through the, the st string through the pulley like that. Take your pulley, put it through the loop and voila. And this way you can leave that string in the tree year after year is like what we do because we always come back to the same spot and if you don't come back to the same spot then you can just take it off. So now you've got your knot here and this is going to tie onto the tree. So we have to redo one of our pulleys here. Our string, actually, our string actually grew into the tree. So we're gonna show you, we just put that around now and tie whatever kind of fancy knot you want. And you're gonna want these about two and a half feet off the ground. And then feed that line through your pulley. There. <laughs> that comes up. It goes through this pulley and we've tied it off a hard line. This is our end point here. Through that pulley. So this is the final step here. So now that you've got your line run through the tree, you want to try to find line that doesn't have a whole lot of stretch to it because it's going to, you need the tension to pull it out to the bear. And now what you do here, all you do is simply put just a knot on it, just like just a half hitch, just a half hitch knot and you pull it tight. So what happens now is that's your tension on the line. It keeps the line straight not quite tight enough but you want it tight enough so that it'll slip 
but not so tight that the bear that it's laying on the ground okay it'll keep its tension and it keeps its tension off the ground so you can see it's fairly tight and now this one here this is where we attach it to the pull switch So again, don't hook it up to this end because there's too much play there. You want it a fairly tight and taut system. So as soon as that bear hits that line, it's gonna set it off. And that's all you need. So now if you go over here. Put it to yeah, I put it to side. Sorry. Okay, so if you come over here now, this line's about two and a half feet off the ground, which is gonna put just about the bear's uh, chest. chest level. So when he comes in and he hits that line, Works. That'll make the bear jump. Should make the bear jump. And anyway, it'll let us know when we are coming back if there's been an intruder. <laughs> okay, so now that we have our line strung up, I just want to give you a little bit of details on it. If you'll notice that when the line is pulled tight, all the pulleys are on the inside of the trees. You don't want this line touching the trees because that just adds added friction on it. And if you follow along, you can see here, I've got one here. Our meat poles are up here. So you want to give it about five to 10 feet away from that pull meat pole so the bear hits it before he gets to the meat. And if you'll take a note, you'll see all the lines run on the inside of the trees. There is no tension on them. Now, the other thing that you can do if you don't have meat poles that are up 35 feet, <laughs> you can, if you hang it lower, what you can do is you tie a string onto your quarter, loop it over top of the meat pole, and then back to your trip wire. So that way, if the bear pulls it off, he's gonna pull that trip wire, pull that line, pull it down and it's going to pull this one and it's going to set the alarm off just for just for some reason if the bear gets through the barrier without setting it off yeah that way when he's got the corner and he's on his way out of here he'll it'll trip yeah i think that happened to us once too, it happened it? to us yeah. once i don't know how he, he snuck under it i don't know yeah. what he did but uh they're yeah. crafty little buggers thank you so much for watching thank you everything everyone that's the bear alarm in a nutshell i hope you enjoyed it i had some of you guys ask about it and there you have it Thank you. Hi everyone, Al here. If you're still watching, you just finished watching the install and test of our bear alarm that uh, Rick designed. If you're interested in building one yourself, we got a complete parts and how to list in the description. I'll leave a link there. So hopefully you can just click on it, it'll open up on Google Drive or for some reason it doesn't work. Um, get a hold of me either in the comments or my email and I'll make sure you get a copy of it. I wanna thank you all for watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and like if you subscribe and like it helps the algorithm goes up and more people can watch my content i want to thank you all that have subscribed i really appreciate it hope you like the videos and good luck hunting for the rest of the year